hello everyone and welcome back to the channel happy transformers day everyone september 17th is a very special day for us transformers fans not just because of the 40th anniversary as well with the release of transformers 1 but today i thought it'd be really cool to show you every transformers figure i reviewed we're going to take a look at every core class deluxe Voyager and Leader class I've showcased this far. This is my main Transformers collection, which I talk about. I'm very excited to do this review. We're going to take a look at the War for Cybertron Trilogy, Legacy, Studio Series, and Studio Series 86. We're going to take a look at every figure I have currently reviewed. We're going to be going through the order of each line that has released in chronological order. So now it's time to take a look at my Transformers collection. Starting off, here we have the War for Cybertron Trilogy. I don't have any figures from Siege or Earthrise, I only have from Kingdom. So let's begin by taking a look at the figures again. We're going to go through Core, Deluxe, Voyager, and the Leader in that respect order. Starting off with the Core Class Bumblebee and Spike with Wiki 2-Pack. This is actually one of the first Core Class figures to be released. Next up we have the Deluxe Class Air Racer. This is actually the earliest figure in this collection and the one that really got me into collecting Transformers. So you can definitely credit this figure for this channel in a way. Next up we have the, the Deluxe Class Autobot Trax. This is the cheapest figure in my collection is actually used. And that's going to be pretty much it for the trilogy. Yeah, I know I don't have much of it, but these figures alone show me just how solid the line could be and that and these were a great start not just to collecting transformers but to kickstart the line that would come straight after the, tr the trilogy ended that being <laughs> legacy in this case legacy consists of legacy legacy evolution and legacy united as well as the walmart exclusive Velocitron Speedy Up 100 collection. In this case, I don't have any characters from Legacy United, so let's begin by taking a look at the cheapest figures, that those being the Core Class Generation 2 Megatron. This is simply a repaint of the normal Core Class Megatron. We also have the Core Class Dinobot Scar. Yes, I did buy this, wanting to that make that Core Class Volcanicus, but I still have not found any of the other Dinobots. We also have the Walmart exclusive Autobot Nightcrawler from going from a Walmart exclusive to a Ross Shelf Warmer. We also have the Velocitronic Speedia 500 collection, Bullux Class G2 Shadow Strip, who is just a repaint of the Stunticon Drag Strip, another one of the Shelf Warmers at Ross. We also have the Deluxe Class G1 Universe Insecticon Bombshell. The Voyager Class Armada Universe Starscreen. This figure was actually a gift and my first Armada figure. The Velocitron Speedy 500 Voyager Class Road Hauler, a lost G1 character. And finally, the Leader Class Armada Universe Megatron. So overall, Legacy is great. Even though I don't have that many characters from it either, you can definitely notice the variety, like G1, G2, Armada, as many, well as many others, and the, the line itself has a ton of different characters throughout all of the 40 years of Transformers. So it's really cool to have this line that really dives into the Transformers lore and just the history of the franchise. But now let's move on to something a bit more grounded, that being... <laughs> the Studio Series which started off with the live-action Michael Bay movies, then moved on to the Bumblebee movie, Rise of the Beasts, and right now, Transformers 1. This line is dedicated to making figures based on all those movies that focus on detail, scale, and articulation. This is honestly my second favorite line in Transformers right now because I love the live-action movies. The characters I have for this one consist of the Rise of the Beasts, Quarter Class RC, my first Rise of the Beasts figure. The Bumblebee movie, Core Class Shockwave. Rise of the Beasts, Deluxe Class Bumblebee. Bumblebee movie, Deluxe Class Autobot Ratchet. As well as the Rise of the Beasts, Deluxe Class Wheeljack, better known as Pablo. 
the concept art series, Bumblebee Movie Deluxe Class Sunstreaker, really interesting release. One of the few characters who was not actually not in the movie. And my personal favorite, the Transformers 1 Deluxe Class Optimus Prime, one of my most recent purchases and honestly my favorite. So overall, I love the studio series. I mainly grew up on the live action movies, so that's why they mean a lot to me, especially Bumblebee and Rise of the Beasts. And it's really cool to have these figures skilled so well we turn now with the concept art series, having characters who are not even in the movies featured in the line. It's really cool, but my personal favorite is the one we'll finally take a look at now, that being... Studio Series 86. As the title states, it's based on the Transformers the movie from 1986. This one uh, is my favorite because G1 is my favorite and the 86 movie is so far my favorite Transformers movie so I'm not watching Transformers 1. In this case the reason why I like this one is because we get act really accurate posable figures based on the G1 design because the designs in the movie were the G1 designs as well as the new characters introduced in the film. In this case, this is the one that I want to collect the most out of. In this case, the characters I have right now consist of the Deluxe Class RC, the Deluxe Class Buzzwee Bumblebee Edition Cup, as well as the Deluxe Class Brawn, the Deluxe Class Bumblebee, this is my most recent purchase so far, as well as the Buzzwee Bumblebee Edition, the Lux Class Prowl, you know, the version where he's dying, as well as the Voyager Class Buzzwee Bumblebee Edition, Bell Damaged Ironhide, so just in case you want figures of the characters literally dying, as well as the Voyager Class Autobot Ratchet, and finally the Leader Class Coronation Starscream, and I must say this figure is bad comedy. Well, overall, Studio Series 86 is still my favorite just because I really like the 86 movie and I just like how this line is just a good excuse to get G1 characters into the Studio Series because this is how they looked in the movie. So I'm happy that it's not just about the new characters who were introduced in the movie, but the characters, the classic characters who also died in the movie. I think it really gives a great balance and this to me like is the line that represents G1 Transformer between Legacy and Studio Series 86. My favorite is honestly the Studio Series. So that's going to be pretty much it here for my Transformers collection. But before we end this video, let's do some honorable mentions by mentioning some figures that are not part of any specific line I already mentioned, and I just need to mention them. First off, we have the Rise of the Beast mainline Voyager Class Optimus Prime, as well as the Red Series Soundwave, if I wasn't sure if they count the Red Series because they don't transform. And then finally, here we have a G1 reissue of the original Starscream toy with cartoon accurate colors. And of course, we cannot forget about the one that started all, the original 1984 Optimus Prime toy. Yes, this is actually from 1984, that's why it's so used. But let's thank this toy in the original 84 toy line for the start of this incredible franchise. So that's going to be pretty much it here for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know in the comments what you think about my Transformers collection, what figure here was your favorite. Happy Transformers Day again, and that's gonna be it, and as Optimus Prime would say, transform and roll out.